Greetings, good people of YouTube, and welcome to another episode. We've seen uh, quite a few asking what I have in my camera bag. Uh, we addressed a little bit in the last video. It's called Bottega Veneta. But now we're going to talk about what's inside them. Obviously, wouldn't go very far without my trusty Leica M, and it's got the 24 Sumalux on it. Essential, let's pop that back in. Sometimes I get a bit hungry when I'm out shooting. Asparagus! <laughs> and after you've had a snack, you might get a bit, bit thirsty, so hang on. Ah, that'll do nicely. A beautiful bottle of Macallan, 18 year aged. You wanna be careful when you're uh, distributing it, especially when sharing it with your friends. So I always carry this as well, a, uh, a shot glass to measure out. So let's pop those back in. Hang on. No serious photographer would be caught dead on a shoot without a backup camera. So hang on. Here we go. This is my Instax Mini 9. Just in case this bag gets damaged, I like to keep another bag in here. Also, this one gets me to the airport and stuff. Here's another thing I love keeping inside here. Hang on. In there somewhere. It's my signature guitar I designed with Strandberg. You need something to plug it into. And I'm sure lighter ones exist, but I've always just loved the sound of this thing. Hang on. Please, I'm a terrible oh. Oh. Jesus. Oh. Oh. This is a 2x12, 100 watt. Marshall JCM 800 combo. It weighs about 30 kilos, maybe more. Uh, uh, that was stupid. So let's take a serious look at what's in here. Uh, 24 Summerlux and uh, this M10 monochrome. It really helps us if you click the button below, subscribe. Thank you. Here are some of the bags. Um, something you'll notice about all of them. They are very slim just like me. You might think, how are you gonna get a camera in there? Well, I don't. I think they should really be called lens pouches or something for me, because uh, I don't believe in putting the camera away ever. What, what use is it in there? When I'm just shooting for myself, I will take a 50. This is my 99% of the time kind of what I'm using. When I'm doing a commercial shoot, I tend to take this along with me as well, Trialmar. 16 millimeter, 18 millimeter, and 21. It's technically a zoom. It's a great lens, and sometimes this just doesn't quite cut it. It's not wide enough. But on the other end, a 90 mil f2. I use this quite a lot, actually. A lot of my mountain series, I've done skiing, the skiing pictures, all on 90. And sometimes to challenge myself, I just go out with just this one, just to get something completely different. Lens cloth. I'm not a big fan of muck all over the lens. Whenever I have a moment, I just clean them all. And the specs. If I'm somewhere humid, uh, I tend to carry a, an extra one for um, dabbing purposes, not dabbing. Sony headphones, I love these ones. When I'm shooting, I tend to not wear headphones because it's distracting and your ears guide you to a lot of shots. So this is for downtime. Of course, a phone. This is my wallet, also by Bottega. And the most essential, spare battery. My house keys. <laughs> what else have I got in here? Ah, chewing gum. I found this setup and I've been very happy using it and I haven't felt that there's a thing called gas, gear acquisition syndrome. I don't have that when it comes to cameras. I do have it when it comes to guitars though. So. This is a case that was given to me by the people at Leica in Hong Kong, which was a very kind gift. You can't buy it, unfortunately. They made 10 of them and they gave me one of them. They should make this because it's unbelievable. This is for my analog stuff. So I've got extra couple of lenses, EVF, which I never use, uh, Tri-X, big up. And then on this side, this has got some of the other cameras in, M11. So this is the one I use currently as the backup camera, spare batteries. I've got Leica MP in silver and a Leica MP in black. Sometimes I, I'll 
keep one of them for pushing film, like high speed. So this one is currently at 3,200. This one is at 800. If you want to find out more about what we're talking about and about film, there's a nice video we made about one of the best labs in the world. That can go on the back of your luggage. It clips on. So I take this as hand luggage onto planes. You don't want to be putting this stuff under a plane. Have you seen what they do with luggage? So that's kind of my rig for traveling around the world and doing and, you know, ready for any kind of project. And then of course I, I will have my uh, MacBook. So I used to carry big camera bags that you could put your camera in and put your other camera in and put your other cameras in. No, I like that. Look, watch this. Camera on me. Sorted. Lens, 50 in there. 16, normally, you know, there, and then the phone in. And then there it is. That's, that's my rig. You, you, you whack that on. No one's thinking, well, what the hell, you know, look at this photography guy. All right, that's a wrap, Alan. Great. Nice one, ma'am. Uh, oh, there's one more thing. Thank you. And good night. <laughs> Comment, like, and subscribe. I made this little figure of Tintin when I was about six years old with my mum. I never go anywhere without this.